Okay, welcome back to the next part of the video. This is another uh, installment in my Earth to Ganymede series that I started. In the last video, we brought the Aero Freighter from Earth orbit and completed the ejection burn to go out to Jupiter. And we began the process of accelerating time to get out, you know, away from Jupiter, or rather out away from Earth. And we warped time forward for a few months, and then I decided that uh, I'd just go ahead and do the majority of the time warp off camera because it's not that interesting to record all of that. Now, I didn't actually go forward all that much further, but we're about halfway between Earth and Jupiter now, at least in terms of distance, in terms of time, we've probably still got the majority, we've still got more time ahead of us because, um, you know, as you go farther ahead, you slow down, so the last half of the trip in terms of distance actually takes more time than it does to do than it does to go for the first half but nevertheless I feel like now is a pretty good time to do a mid-course correction we've got our encounter with Jupiter currently showing that we're going to basically uh, impact the center of Jupiter and we don't want that so being this far out we still have you know we can still do mid-course corrections uh, much more cheaply than we can as we get in closer uh, one thing I did do is I took care of a bit of oxygen maintenance and that's just simply a matter of clicking this button right here. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more so you didn't miss anything there. But when I got down to three months of oxygen, I added in a couple of more oxygen modules so that we now have one year and three months of O2 to go. And if we need, then we can add some more because we've got plenty of O2 still left. Okay, so let's set up a maneuver here. And a couple things that I want to take into consideration. I want to, I want to set up the maneuver so that. Uh, let me turn off this radio chatter. I want to set up the maneuver so that when I arrive at Jupiter, I can take advantage of Jupiter's gravity and do my deceleration burn when I'm in as close to the planet as I can get. And I think somewhere around 2,000 kilometers above the surface is what I want. Um, I couldn't remember off the top of my head in the first couple of videos how high up above Jupiter its atmosphere was before you started getting, you know, into problems. And I, but I think it's around a thousand kilometers. I went back and looked at one of my other videos, and when I was trying to do atmospheric braking at Jupiter using the XR5, I was trying to get down to around, you know, 900 kilometers or a thousand kilometers. So I think if we're up at 2,000 kilometers, we'll be well up of up out of the atmosphere and not have to worry about that, but we'll still be in close enough that we'll get, you know, advantage of, uh, of the effect that we get, you know, when, we, when, we, when you do a burn at periapsis. But the other thing I want to take into consideration is where Ganymede's going to be at in its orbit around Jupiter. So I'm going to come here to view uh, setup and I'm going to select Ganymede as my target. And then we'll come back over here on this side and turn maneuver mode on. And we'll start, uh, let's go forward to this side, view our setup. Actually, before we do Ganymede, let's do this. Let's do none, and we let's view, yeah, let's view the encounter here. And Prograde is going to be our best choice for now. So I'm going to put in a bit of negative prograde, and you can see it's not much. It's only, you know, that's 8, 9 meters a second so far, 13 meters a second, and it still has our inclination good and low, and our minimum altitude is close to what I said I wanted it to be, you know, around 2,000 kilometers. So like that, uh, maybe just a little bit back off there. So that's got the minimum altitude about where I want, and you can see the inclination still low, and that's only 13 meters a second. If I reset that, and I try to accomplish the same thing with uh, pro, uh, outward, we'll see quickly that that's just not going to be the right choice. You know, here as I'm adding in outward, we're already at 1920, and so on, and we're getting a very high number to get down to the same altitude. That's 64 meters a second, so it's not the right choice. So let's reset that. Let's do prograde. And again, it was about negative 13. OK, 
Okay, so we are... Go with that. And let's just see if we can do anything at all with pro, uh, plane change. Maybe not at this point, but if we can just improve that a little bit, if we can bring it down a little bit more, we will. Okay, so it's coming down a little bit. It won't be much. 5, 5.5, 5.4, 5.3, 2, 1. And now it's starting to go back up. So about another meter per second in this direction. And we can improve our relative inclination. We can get it even closer to the equator. Now let's go back to prograde for a moment because that did something with the altitude. It's not nothing to worry about too much. But we will back it up just a little bit more, get closer to that 2,000 kilometer point. Something like that. Okay, now let's look at view setup and target uh, Ganymede. Okay, so if we do this maneuver like that, we're saying that we'll get to Jupiter, and then when we come back out, we're, we're not going to be any, anywhere close to Ganymede. So, so, let me think about this for a moment. Let me switch to these views for a second, because these are a little bit clearer. Okay, so I think... So my thought process is that maybe if we come in here and we do the breaking burn, we're going to come back out. But we might have to orbit a couple of times in that elliptical orbit in order for Ganymede to come around and catch up to our position. It would be ideal if we could you know, come around and catch it out here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Okay, so all right, let me try something here. Let me bring up another instance of instance of transex. This instance isn't related to the other one. Uh, this is where I need Dimitri's help. I, I, this stuff gets a little bit, a bit, a bit beyond my experience level. What I want to do, what would be the most efficient thing to do, would be to come into Jupiter, do our deceleration burn here, and then that will close in our orbit around Jupiter, and then we'll catch Ganymede out here or over here. But currently that's not going to happen because Ganymede's too far away by the time we get out there. Okay, I think I know what to do anyway. Um, it, won't, it probably won't be the ideal way to do it, but I think we just need to forget about Ganymede in this part, and then when we come out to Jupiter, when I get time to do, get down to do the deceleration burn, I'll close in the orbit around Jupiter and I'll just have to watch how these lines are being affected by and then I'll stop doing the deorbit burn when when these are close most closely matched. I think that'll work. Okay. So view over to setup and we'll just again just go to none for now here. And then on this side we'll view the target. And it doesn't matter that the time's already passed because we're, you know, this is only a 13 meter per second burn, so it doesn't matter. Okay, back inside the uh, cool view here. And bring up the HUD. Switch over to orbit. And we wanted mostly it was negative. So we're basically going to go retrograde.
we're going retrograde to the sun because we need to slow down by 13 meters a second in order to make our timing work out a little bit better. And we're almost there. We're at zero degrees on the up down and we're almost at 180. <clears throat> okay, there it is. So we'll turn off the retrograde now and view over to target to get that reset. Translation. Rotation. And we just need to bring the green X down a little bit because we did have a, just a tiny bit of plane change in there. Like that. And I could bring up burn time calculator, but I'll just do this manually. So 13.29, go. And done. Translation. Overshot just a bit. View over to maneuver for to turn that off. And we'll look at the encounter here. We're at about 2,000, and the inclination came down a little bit, so we're good. Okay, so go ahead and warp time forward. What, how much farther ahead do we have to go? We're at five. Uh, we have to go to five eight one five two. We're at five seven. So we've still got over a year to go. All right, well, this is going to be a short part. Again, I'm not going to just sit here and record, you know, all that time warp because it just, you know, it's just not interesting in the slightest. And we've got over a year of time warp, and that's going to be six solid minutes of nothing. So I'll go ahead and end this part of the video here. And when we come back, we'll be uh, basically all the way out to Jupiter. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Facebook link in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next part.